Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KipAdster.com out here for another gear review and today talking holsters. Black Point Tactical in particular this one right here which is the FO3, forward of three. If you're unfamiliar with Black Point Tactical they make all kinds of holsters for all kinds of guns. This one right here wore for I don't know probably like a year or two. It's one of their inside the waistband kind of strong side carry with leather wings makes it very comfortable also allows you to adjust it for kind of ride height all that stuff and then they also make outside the waistband holsters the other thing that's really nice is they make holsters for pretty much any gun combo whatever you want this one right here set up for my glock 17 with surefire x400 vampire again sometimes pretty hard to find a holster for that light combo and then of course cut for some sort of optic you want on there and then you can even have it set up to where if you want down here it'll be open for a threaded barrel something along those lines tons of different options whether it is the actual gun method of carry all those different things so now we'll get into the fo3 while black point makes all kinds of holsters to include appendix rigs everything else they also make the FO3, four to three o'clock. Holster designed by my buddy, Bill Rapier of Amtac Shooting with combatives in mind. So idea being, you have your holster over just forward of three o'clock and gives you really easy access with your pistol, which is great. And why would you want it over there though? A lot of people like to carry appendix, which is cool, but part of, I guess you would argue the system that Bill teaches is strong hand, other strong hand, and being able to access weapons with both hands. And so some of his knives are made in a way that can be carried other strong side. So basically be able to pull them out from your other strong side, whether it's the Northman Magnus or the Miniman knife by Amtech Blades, or for that matter, any other like blade that you're going to carry for fighting being able to have access to all your tools so if you end up busy because maybe not all the problems are solved with a sub one second draw at like 25 yards maybe some problems start like right in front of you and so maybe this hand is bracing doing whatever trying to keep you from getting knocked out by some haymaker someone's swinging a bottle knife whatever and you need to access your tool with your other hand or conversely this hand's tied up being able to access that tool what can happen if you're drawing from appendix not saying you shouldn't do that but depending on if you're carrying other tools they're all pretty much center line so someone can smash them and then start smashing you and deny you access to your tools so this way if you start going for your blade over on your other strong side and that gets trapped you can come over draw your pistol continue to deal with the problem for me personally i actually really like carrying this fo3 holster incredibly comfortable easy access to the pistol and yeah separates tools when i'm carrying my knife on my other strong side right now it's in the pocket sheath but some features i definitely appreciate are the clips they use these things are incredibly strong and they do an amazing job grabbing onto your belt or for that matter fabric you could basically wear these with sweatpants I'm not saying that's a good idea i'm not saying your sweatpants won't move when you try to draw your pistol but the holster would not move from said sweatpants and then back here we have this mini wing which again allows for a lot of comfort and flexibility with respect to having this thing right in there and then on top of that we can move these depending on what kind of ride height we want how deep we want the pistol to sit in there and yeah overall really handy and then of course over here these two screws if you want you can adjust the retention for me personally i've actually never adjusted the retention of any of the holsters i've got from them it comes like really solid but if for whatever reason you want to crank it down or loosen it up a little bit, those are the screws that you do it with. Overall, incredibly well done holsters. One, just the actual molding and everything, 
great job. Whether it's the pieces that actually come and form over wherever the retention is. By way of example, on this light, Surefire XSC365, I believe. Or just even how it's flared enough to where making it reholstering really easy, doesn't snag. Really awesome holsters. But Ivan, what about printing? Won't that get you killed in the streets? Very possible, honestly, just like having PALS webbing on a backpack or having a morale patch on some sort of Velcro field. Honestly, printing has more to do with body type and clothing selection. I could wear a bigger t-shirt, it would drape down, or for that matter, a cover shirt. If I had some sort of button up or a jacket, it would not print as much. For me, honestly, the whole printing thing, haven't ran into any issues with it or been killed in the streets. If you're looking at picking up a holster from Black Point Tactical, FO3 or otherwise, you can find all of them over on their website and they make it really easy. You pretty much go to whatever type of holster you want. For example, FO3 with the light or outside the waistband with a light and you just start going through drop down menus, selecting the type of gun you have, type of light you have, every option you can think of as far as if you want it closed on the bottom, if you want to open for a threaded barrel, if you have suppressor height sights, all the different options, can't right height, belt loops, all of those different things. Really easy drop down menus and then submit and then you wait. I will say like most places these days, there is a backlog and they're making something specific to your gun like exactly what you want. I'm sure if you're like, hey, I just need a vanilla like Glock 19 strong side outside the waistband holster or appendix Glock 19 holster, probably get it fairly quick, but depending on how specific it is, might wait a little while. Overall, really solid products from Black Point Tactical. And if you appreciate my content, and want to support it, greatly appreciate it. Whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over to kitbadger.com, picking up KBAT target pads, stickers, patches, things like that, or you can support me directly through Patreon. Greatly appreciate it. it helps me go out, create more content for you, and you usually get early access to videos. In addition to that, happy to answer questions. If you have questions, probably not gonna answer them in the comments section, but over there on Patreon, we have an active Discord. Happy to answer all of your questions over there. And as always, Thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.